This is the elephant in the room. We love Don Jr., but Dylan Mulvaney is the worst ever. Why didn't Don go after Dylan when everybody was? Was he trying to be nice? And, and listen, I'm kind of on the same thing where I don't want to be considered transphobic or homophobic, and I think Don doesn't yeah, either. A, he doesn't really worry about that. I mean, listen, he's just he's not about woke companies for sure, but he's not a guy who really loves boycotts. Yeah. I will say that. But if you've seen he has been a leading voice, you know, against like – Men who become biological men who become women competing against girls in sports. He's got a superstar athlete with his daughter, Kai, who was like, you know, co-captain of varsity um, golf when she was in eighth grade. So wow. she's crushing it and smashing it. So we don't like that where you don't level, like, you know, the playing field. You're like, oh, you can go ahead and compete against girls and you can go ahead and weight lift and like crush it like the Romanians over there. And they're like smashing weights and lifting against women. Come on. That's that's some nonsense right there. Um, you know, in terms of me as a woman, my personal opinion, like Dylan Malay doesn't represent me or any of the women I know. OK, because we're like smart and brave and fearless and we're born biological females. OK, so when you go to the OBGYN, then tell me that you can represent me. Wow, I love that. And let's be real. I mean, Dylan Mulvaney doesn't just dress like a woman. He dresses like a little girl. So that's that's really weird. OK, OK. I, actually, that's a great point. That's a great point because it's it's a very improper. It's making a, a mockery and a caricature of grown women. And I think it's inappropriate on a lot of levels. I'm so fly, I'm aligned with the planes. My grind's so refined. I got no time for no games. Ask yourself.